Kate and Kieran, you've got that, a great story, business story, and like you know, most trading businesses, there's the ups and downs. And and I know that when we first come in contact with each other, I think it was around 2017, where you came to one of our business training sessions that we hosted uh, for Reese. And then since 2020, been jumped on board as a client, which has been great. So for the last three years, uh, it's been great to have you on, on board as a client, valuable member of our our community. But just give us a bit of an update or give the listeners a bit of an update of your journey and uh, when you started, how that looked like through to sort of when you come started, when we started working together. Yeah. So we started um, in 2014, uh, just a bit before that, I was a sole trader and um, and then rolled into the company structure of KPM Plumbing. Um, and we started with $100 in the business account. Um, that $100 was for the first tank of fuel. Um, and then we were going to just sort of go on from there. So that was 2014 um, and just was out slogging it. Um, very much that trading mindset, just got to be busy, got to say yes, got to be just, yes, you know, trying to do all facets of plumbing, like, you know, roofing. And it's like, I've never really done much roofing, but yeah, I'll do it. You know, if it's mm. going to pay. Um, and then we we slowly sort of, you know, pushed past that and got into a bit of residential and, and started getting a bit of traction um, with um, you know, key builders and, and um, yeah, getting a couple of staffing on board. And we, we were still just constantly sort of churning the wheel. Like we weren't really... Um, seeing like a really good financial backing from that like lifestyle it was just like hand to mouth sort of mm. you know sometimes i just sort of come home and think like what are we doing like is is this going to be feasible for longevity um so yeah that was we were, we were going through that and i came to one of your first um ones with reese came along um and walked away and i thought that's great you know and i just I thought that was for like a big corporation to sort of, you know, engage their employees for that, not like a one man or a two man band. So I sort of walked away and I was like, oh, it's good. You know, I couldn't really justify it at the time. Um, if I knew what I knew now, I would have 100% got involved back then because it probably would have saved me a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Um so, but anyway, you just gotta you gotta live that journey and, and make your mistakes and and sort of learn from them. So, in um yeah in twenty twenty we've we sort of rekindled our relationship, Matt. Um and we tied Kate the knot. Just got we tied the knot. Yeah, yeah and so did Kieran and I actually. <laughs> and, and, and Kate and yeah, I just right. tied the knot as well. So, and that was a big thing, you know. Like we sort of looked at that as a uh, Kate and I have come together, we're married, and I just I didn't want our our marriage, our relationship, suffering from what the business was doing day to day. Um, we were lost on our numbers. Yeah. Weekends weren't weekends. I would be yeah. working Saturday, Sunday um, during the week. Yeah, like just crazy hours. Winning, to... winning all these jobs, but just kind of not really seeing like the fruit from it. And it's not a quick fix, agree? It's not a quick fix. Like how many, again, are the ups and downs and... How many times you've said, oh, Jonesy, you know, this is not working. It's just like stick to the process. And we talk about yeah. that late, latent potential. You know, everyone in life, you, you make a change, you do some training, you do a presentation, you expect it to go up straight away. We know it's going to go down. You've got to stay yeah. persistent, stay patient. Uh, and the rewards are there. And, and then fast tracking. Now, when we talk about the rewards, as a credit to you, winning one of the our Power Up Awards, our Community Power Up Awards last year for nailing it, right? So nailing it and an unbelievable year. So essentially you double that turnover and just for everyone out there, gone from around that one, 1. 1.5 million to over 3 million. And more importantly, profitability, operating profitability has increased by I think about 28, 30%, which is huge, right? It's just it's huge. And, and this is a key thing, all the while doing that and delivering that capacity operating at a totally different level, right? Operating at, at, at that calmness, being able to mm -hmm. still, again, focus on you know, family time, like you talk about, about it, you know, weekends is your time, going on holidays, all these key things, right, that I remember that was not happening beforehand. And I think yeah. one of the first things I said, what, I think one of the first, what I say, one of the first things I said, I think even <laughs> on the first call, I said, you're going to lock a holiday in now, oh, no. right yeah. now. Yeah. 
on the another phone. Thing I, <laughs> another <laughs> thing I really recall you saying, Matt, which I loved and I used pl- many times was, <laughs> you're not a brain surgeon, Kieran. <laughs> you're not that important. <laughs> And I do, I do yeah, like that's that, a, that was a really good one, particularly that first year to year and a half working with you. Just, yeah, just you don't need to do it all. You don't need to like put out all the fires. You can delegate, you can trust. Um, and yeah, that important, <laughs> that that message of you're not a brain surgeon, like the people will survive. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. People need to realize they're not that important. They're yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not life and death, right? It was oh, always so, so hard for me to let go. Like, yeah. I, that's one thing, you know. You're still working on that. I'm at still hundred yeah. percent working on that at times, yeah. and and that's something that I just, you know, I I, I just hug this business every day, and yeah. it's like it's your baby. Make sure I'm, it's my mm-hmm. baby, and I've, you know, but I've also got a, you know, a real baby that mm-hmm. I need to, <laughs> to spend time with, also. But yeah. exactly. I just, I super involved. I just sometimes probably overextend myself but I think the difference now though is that you have weekends we do take family holidays when you're home you switch off yeah so although you still feel that way so many changes have been made Mm. um and I think that remaining calm that has just been the biggest thing for us because there isn't really stress in our family uh, like in home time anymore you know we're not going oh no what what if this person doesn't pay and this and that and or staffing or this like we still have stresses everyone has mm. stresses but it's just all about no just trust in the process mm. it's going to be fine we're we're keeping to our rocks we're following the way we do it here you know we have faith in our numbers our numbers are all tracked and mm. i think it just keeps you very calm yeah 